Good morning, welcome to Monkey Team Sports. I'm here today with Eric, one of our team specialists, and he's gonna go through and explain a little bit more detail, really what are the various options when it comes to custom decorations. This is considered a heat press item, correct? It is. Now tell me a little bit about this. Is this one of the most cost effective options? Heat press is cost effective, especially when you're talking about doing ones and twos, um, uh, just one piece or two piece. Right. The heat press, Traditionally, it's been known in the market as the cheapest form of decoration in terms of how long it lasts. Okay. Um, but you're, you're also going to probably spend the least amount of money in this process. Okay. You're able to do you know, individual items and not have to pay a lot in setups or things right. like that in order to get to the right. goal of having the garment decorated. So, quickest, easiest, most cost effective. Yep. Now this piece right here, this is considered a screen printed item, um, a two color piece. We've got the red and the white. Um, tell me a little bit about screen printing in that process. Well, screen printing is a, it's a quantity-driven business. Um, usually, you're using screen printing on jerseys and such, and, and you, want it to be, um, you want it to be decent quality, but not pay the largest amount of money for it. You'll see various schools, depending on, on budgets and what their overall look is, is uh, what they're shooting for and their overall look. You'll vary between one color and two color, so right. on and so forth. Uh, but you can add colors to a garment and still be cost effective, right. providing that you have a good quantity of jerseys to right. decorate. But there are a, pretty much a, a bottom line as far as minimum numbers go when it comes to printing. There are. You'll usually start with 12 and you'll work your way up from there and okay. you'll get different cost breaks as you move up in quantities. Right. Yeah, I know often we get customers asking, you know, oh, I only want to print one or two pieces of a screen printed item. Right. But essentially there's screens and such in, in place, right, that make that process more cumbersome. Yeah, there are a lot of fixed costs that go along with silk screening that you definitely, you do want, it's a quantity driven business. Right. You want to have enough, you want to have enough to make it, uh, get the most bang for right. your buck, so to speak. This is a embroidered piece, correct? Correct. This is an embroidered piece. And when you're talking about steps up in terms of the levels of decoration, embroidery would kind of be the next step if you mm -hmm. want to have um, a long-lasting uh, form of decoration on right. your garment, but also still want to maintain a certain amount of detail that you would get out of silk screening and paint. Uh, okay. You can see the integrity of the right. image, the eyes and teeth and everything else. And this seems like it would last through many washes. It, it would last as long as you, pretty much as long as the garment will last. Okay. And that's why a lot of people will Go you'll see on coaches gear and, okay. and bags and things like that because they do take such a beating. You, uh, that's how you're going to end up decorating it. Okay. Now this is a tackle tool item. It is. Um, now tackle tool is different than embroidery. Tackle tool is different. It's sewing. It's sewing, but it's uh, on a it's on a uh, grander scale, where what you're doing is basically taking twill or cloth and laying it down on the garment, and then sewing that cloth on to secure it to the garment. Mm -hmm. So you get the you get the last and the longevity of right. embroidery. Um, but not the cost that you would have to do a garment like this. All the stitches to fill out across there would be a considerable amount of money as right. opposed to having it be a, a piece of twill that you're sewing and adhering to the garment. People can decorate an item like this, have it last for three or four years, and then come back and, hey, the number is coming off and it's, it's fraying. You can take the number off and replace it, okay. and you still have a functional uniform okay. that you're able to... And this is really nice quality. It, it almost looks like this is what the professionals use. It is. I mean, this is this is one of Adidas's premier schools in Louisville. So, okay. uh, I mean, this is basically what the colleges are wearing. Right. The final option here is sublimation, which is a newer technology. I understand. It is. As you see on it, it just looks like a blank garment, and this is how it all starts. It starts out as a white piece of uh, cloth, and what actually happens with sublimation is that they print your design directly onto the garment. So what you get out of the garment is a custom piece, a full custom uniform, exactly the way you want it. Um, and styling, coloring, doesn't really matter. All, none of that stuff affects the price of the garment. Big advantage here is you may pay a little bit more, but um, the level of investment, it doesn't vary if you do one piece versus 20 pieces, right. typically. So it's easy for refilling and reordering it is. as it's, the team grows. It's all kept in a computer database and you just pull it up and they plug it in and print out a new one for right. you. Okay. Well, that was very informative. Thank you for all of that detail, um, and thank you for visiting monkeyteamsports.com. Bye-bye.